Hey there everyone, my name is Eduardo Arroyo, but you can call me Ed, and today we're here exploring Lombard Street, claimed to be the crookedest street in the world here in San Francisco, California. <laughs> This video I'm doing today is part of a series of videos I'm doing of cool locations around San Francisco. Due to the COVID-19 situation, I decided not to travel far, but instead explore the city that I live in. So that is why I'm here, you guys, exploring Lombard Street, claimed to be the crookedest street in the world. I don't know how truthful that is, but we'll just go with that for this video. First, I wanna share a little bit about the history of this place. Then I wanna go through it and share some of the cool views that you can get if you decide to visit this place. Not only that, but I also wanna share some really interesting and cool facts with you guys. So if you guys are interested, come with me. All right, you guys, so before we go through Lombard Street, I would like to tell you guys a few things about this place. First of all, I think this is something you guys already know, is that Lombard Street is a famous street here in San Francisco. Duh. Lombard Street has two segments, one going west and the other one going east. The one going west actually takes you all the way to the Golden Gate Bridge as it is part of US Route 101. The one going east actually takes you all the way to the Embarcadero which is another popular location here in San Francisco. And like I said earlier, I already made a video on both of those places so if you guys are interested, make sure to check the description down below. What truly makes this place so popular is the very steep one block section with not one, not two, three, four, five, six, seven, but but eight sharp turns. That sounds intense. Because of that, this place is claimed to be the crookedest street in the world and it receives around 2 million people here every year with up to 17,000 people showing up per day on busy summer weekends. That is wild. All right, you guys, let's make our way there. But you could imagine back then when the street was quote unquote normal, it used to be a very, very steep street. So it was very steep for most cars to go through. This design was proposed in order to make it more manageable for cars coming down the street. This design, as you see today, was completed in 1922. And I think it was a great idea. This crooked street is around 600 feet long. It is one way coming down as you can see and it is paved with red bricks. And like I keep mentioning you guys, this place is very popular for pictures. As you can see, there are a lot of people here. This is the bottom section. And this is when COVID is around. These are nowhere near to the numbers of when everything is normal. I don't know about you guys, but I think we already spent too much time here in the bottom section. I think it's time to go upstairs and check out the top section. Let's go. And as we make our way to the top section, you guys, I think it would be good for me to share a few fun facts with you guys. First of all, do you guys know that this is actually a residential area? And check it out. As you can see, there are houses or apartments, I don't know what these are, on both sides of the street. Isn't that crazy? Imagine living right next to a tourist attraction. That would be kind of annoying sometimes. Another quick fact is that trying to get here on, on a normal day that is today is by no means normal like I mentioned the situation earlier but if you were trying to go through the road on a normal day that would take a long time. I know I was here last summer and I think we waited like 20 minutes but it can get worse than that. In fact this can get so bad that in early 2019 the city of San Francisco proposed to impose a toll on people who wanted to go through this road. I think it was $10 so not 
too much but then you would also have to reserve your place in line and with a lot of people wanting to come visit here that would be that would be a tough ordeal goodness i'm getting tired but uh, as soon as we get to the top you guys we're almost there i think i just have this next flight of stairs i'll tell you guys about the last fact of today top section of Lombard Street check this out from this area you guys you can get some truly breathtaking pictures you guys check that out you can almost see all the way down I think I think I can actually see all the way down both the bottom and the top sections are very popular for taking pictures but I feel that the pictures you get from the top are way nicer check this out and from the other side boom equally as amazing from here you can even see the bay bridge that bridge over there takes you all the way to oakland and whenever there's not a lot of traffic you guys you can walk in the middle of the road and have this view for your pictures for your video whatever you want it's gonna be awesome before we start heading downstairs you guys i want to share one last fact with you guys and let me just cross the street real quick I'm on the opposite side of Lombard Street as you can see there are some train tracks all along this road right here these are for a cable car if you want to kill two birds with one stone I recommend you guys to take the Powell and Hyde cable car which leaves you right right in front of Lombard Street oh my goodness guys I almost forgot to mention something so basically guys in the intersection here of Lombard and Hyde streets, you can actually get a good shot of Alcatraz and I'm gonna try to get one for you. Boom, so there you go guys. That right over there is Alcatraz Prison. You can get this shot right at the intersection of Lombard and Hyde. Definitely another great reason of why you should make your way up here. But with that, I think we covered everything. I think I'm gonna start heading down you guys. I will catch you guys as soon as I get back to the bottom. Just like that you guys we made it back here back to the bottom where this whole thing started I'm gonna turn this way a little bit since the Sun makes it really hard to see but I just want to say that uh, hopefully you guys had a lot of fun or as much fun as I did you guys and if that's the case I'm gonna ask you to please go ahead and click on the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more interesting and cool travel videos just like this one I really don't know if there's an even better place of where to say goodbye than right here in front of Lombard Street just to remind you guys to always be kind have an open mind I'll see you next time <laughs>